A multiple-time League One winner with Paris Saint-Germain and now European champion with Italy, Marco Verratti is one of the best midfielders on the planet. You'd be hard-pressed to find such a good reader of the game. Good defensive midfielders are a rarity these days, so it isn't surprising to see that the French giants are unwilling to sell him. And it seems that the player himself is very happy with life in Paris, so don't be surprised to see him spend a few more years at Parc des Princes. Hello guys, welcome to Goal 90, where we talk about everything related to the beautiful game. Today we're going to talk about some of the things about Marco Verratti you probably did not know. Before we do, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on our content. Number 10. He's from a footballing family. Not many people know, but Marco Verratti hails from a footballing family, with both his father and elder brother also playing amateur football. And while both men were unable to become professional footballers, they pushed Marco to chase a dream that didn't work out for them. Little Marco started playing for a local Italian team in the village of Manapello. Number 9 a Juventus fan. While he might never get a chance to play for the Turin Giants, Marco Verratti grew up following the Bianconeri. His love for Juventus increased tenfold when he moved to Pescara, who were playing in the Italian Serie D. Verratti says that he was the smallest player in the league and he used to keenly follow Alessandro Del Piero, who made quite a career, despite not being the most imposing forwards in the Serie A. In fact, if you closely watch Verratti, his quick dribbling skills, awareness, confidence and close ball control are reminiscent of the legendary forward. Number 8. A dream move that never happened When Pescara were promoted to Serie A, Verratti became one of the finest players in the Italian top flight. Unsurprisingly, he was linked with a move to a bigger side, and the midfielder admits that he imagined himself finally joining Juventus, a team that he had supported ever since he was a little boy. Along with Juventus, the likes of Inter Milan and AC Milan were also chasing the then 19-year-old signature. However, PSG decided to throw their hat in the ring, and the rest, as they say, is history. 7. A true love story with a sad ending. In most cases, we see footballers enjoying great relationships with women once their bank accounts start bulging. However, unlike many football love stories, Verratti's story is unique in a sense that his wife, Laura Zazara, has been with the player since they started dating when they were both 16. They grew up in the same neighborhood and were a few blocks away from each other. Sadly though, things would not work out as we would have hoped and the two decided to split up in 2019 after 10 years together. However, both of them are still on good terms, even though we would have wanted to see their story continue for a long time. Number 6 education comes first. So, despite being married to a rich footballer, Verratti's ex-wife decided to continue her studies in France where she graduated with honours. Congratulations! Number 5 family business. Marco's father, Fabrizio, decided to become a carpenter after a frustrating amateur career in Serie D. He now owns several factories with hundreds of workers. In fact, the Verratti carpentry business is booming and is one of the most famous ones in Italy. His elder brother, Stefano, meanwhile, has a successful agriculture business and owns 80 hectares of land in Italy where he produces wheat, corn and beets. Number 4. Gaffetto. Marco's ex-wife Laura used to call him Gaffetto, which is Italian for Little Al. Interestingly enough, the midfielder loves his nickname. Owls are associated with intelligence, and if you watch Verratti on the field, you are witnessing a highly intelligent player who knows what he's doing. Number 3. Marco and his tattoos. Like most players these days, Verratti also likes ink around his skin. However, his preference is towards coloured tattoos. But one of the tattoos on the right side of his triceps is kind of funny. It's a regular emoji that we use in messaging. Turns out that Marco got this tattoo to make his eldest son Tommaso laugh. Number 2. New Wife A few weeks ago, Marco Verratti tied the knot with French model Jessica ID in a glamorous ceremony in Paris. The two were spotted together for the first time at the Monaco Grand Prix in 2019. The two started dating months after the midfielder and his ex-wife decided to go their separate ways. Among the guests at the wedding were his former teammate Slatami Ibrahimovic, Salvatore Sirigu and Ezekiel Lavezzi. His new wife has appeared in Sports Illustrated 2019 and is quite an attractive presence on Instagram, where she has 322 
22,000 followers. Hopefully she'll have more followers by the end of the year now that she's living with Verratti. Number one, getting trolled by his wife. When the two had started dating, they were featured in a local reality show. It was quite an embarrassing episode for Marco, who was turned down by Jessica when he tried to initiate, um, um, you know what. And it appears that Jessica also has a sense of humor and knows where to hit Marco where it hurts the most. Verratti is actually scared of rats and once his now wife threw fake rats around the house and recorded her future husband's hilarious reaction. So guys, these were some interesting facts about Marco Verratti's life. Of course, there must be tons of facts that we might not have come across, so why don't you go ahead and mention those in the comments section. Before we go, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Until next time, goodbye and take care.